This is Classic FM. The Brooks Gosh Fancy was the central force for that disc, as with all pretty much all of my recording projects with the exception of of two of them um, there's been sort of one central concerto that is formed as the theme and I think so many concertos like the Congo concerto I mean the the amount of potential avenues that you can be led down through the prism of that concerto they're just endless and the amount of cross genres cross cultures cross worlds and moments in history that that the concerto can inspire. Broskosh Fancy to me did serve very much as that also. It it was very much a a kind of a an opening into the my my own research of the importance of folk music within the classical genre. Um and there aren't there are quite a few examples of Scotland in general serving as a an inspiration for 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 many classical composers there're not as many um examples of of Scottish folk tunes almost in their entirety um being used to in in such a pure way as Brooke has chosen to do with a Brooke Scottish fancy being Scottish and never having played a huge amount of fiddle music um this seemed like a perfect opportunity for me to do something I've been wanting to do for an awfully long time, which is to to explore that that world of of folk traditional Scottish music. And to use a football analogy, it is very much an arm of two halves. There is the brook, on, and then there's the sort of what, what do you call it? Call it modern folk. Um, Phil Cunningham. How how did you mm. get, come to work with all those musicians? I've known Phil Cunningham, Ali Bain, and Julie Fowlers for a long time. Um, we did performances together. I think the first one was when I was fifteen or sixteen. So um, I mean, they're legendary within Scotland and so celebrated and loved. And uh, I I've always had a a, a distant closeness with them I've, I've never had a huge amount of communication with them but every time I did it was almost like meeting old friends they're just the most welcoming um, fantastic people and it seemed quite obvious to me if I was going to do this I would do it with them and do it with their with their guidance and support um, so your family wasn't necessarily one way people would pick up a fiddle and start playing at parties and things like that that wasn't your I, house. I can't begin to tell you how much my family was not one of those. <laughs> I mean, it, I don't even know where to start. The, 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 <laughs> uh, my my grandpa, my Scottish grandpa, I think, played the mouth organ um, quite well. And he had a lovely voice. Um, but he loved Larry Adler. <laughs> um, but no, no instruments whatsoever in my family. And, you know, my, my parents listen to basically listen to pop music until my sister and I started playing classical music so it was not a part of the the cultural makeup of my my whole extended family whatsoever <laughs> This is Classic FM.